to be a successful stock investor, I think you need to have, to be a contrarian some or most of the time. That means to be buying uh, when people are selling. And, and that was happening uh, in March, uh, or end of last year with Google, we were buying Alphabet. It was happening uh, in April with, with Apple. Uh, we were picking some up. And then, and then obviously, three weeks ago after Starbucks' terrible earnings call, uh, where the stock was down 18%, we started picking some up in the low 70s. I think it's good to, to uh, buy when people are selling. We did the same with uh, it, it started the pandemic when everyone was selling stocks, bonds, and everything without asking any questions. We picked up some Microsoft at 145 in March of 2020. But at the same time, sell when people are buying. That's why we uh, slashed half our NVIDIA position at $900 a share recently, a few weeks ago. Jake, I completely understand the thesis when it comes to Starbucks, and I completely understand the methodology as well. But are you hoping then, as an investor, that we see Howard Schultz make a comeback again, considering that you know a lot of people are pointing to the, the current leadership as what has been behind the, some of the woes that Starbucks is currently facing? Sure, and 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 Howard Schultz is a legend. He'd been tied to the company for 43 years. Joined it in 1982. Became CEO in 1986. Had three stints as CEO. Uh, he's passionate, and I read his LinkedIn post, and I agree with everything he said. I loved what he said. Uh, the stores require a maniacal focus on the customer experience. He's passionate about the customers like he's passionate about his employees and the baristas. And he wants that experience to be great again. And right now, with the mobile ordering app and drive through they are working their tails off. They're not able to be friendly to their, their longtime customers. They're not able to say, hey, how are you doing? How's your day? They're like robots right now. But no, Laxman, look, Laxman, I'm a big fan of, of the new CEO. Obviously, the honeymoon period is over. Uh, he, he became CEO April 1st, 2023, and it's been a year and less than a month, and the honeymoon period is done. But he he he's the first outsider they ever brought in. The other three CEOs that tried to replace Howard Schultz were all insiders, uh, including – yeah. So so he came from uh, Reckitt, and then, and then he had a long career at Pepsi. Uh, where he was head of global operations, including all the digital, uh, 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 all, all, all the all the digital opportunities within Pepsi, uh, and also was a uh, CEO of uh, Pepsi Latin America and CFO of uh, Pepsi USA Foods. Uh, I, I'm a I'm a big fan. I, I think he he can make the I think he can make the decisions to turn this company around. That's why we're buying the stock. Look, it's about innovation. Schultz mentioned. Innovation, higher margins of the specialty drinks. Some of the drinks they brought out recently have frankly fallen on their face. Lattes around pistachios, olive oil, lavender, and oat milk. It just hasn't had generated the type of excitement that maybe these specialty drinks at Dutch Bros or Dunkin' or McDonald's are. Really quickly, Jake, if you're buying where others are selling, are you buying Tesla right now? Because uh, we, we talked about Meta before. You, you're buying Starbucks on the dip. Do you believe in that? You know, I suppose U.S. centric AV thematic right now. Uh, definitely U.S. centric. I mean, we we, we definitely uh, own European stocks, Asian stocks alike. Uh, but no, not not Tesla. Um, uh, I think uh, you know, there's been euphoria around the internet. We're seeing euphoria around AI. We saw euphoria on EV and self driving. We saw it all kind of fizzle out, or, or the or the real world actually happens and, and reality sets in. I mean, you know, I mean, I think that again, I think the mandate in California to only sell EV starting in 2035, I think is just going to backfire. And and there's got to be some uh, there's got to be some balance. I mean, I think Tesla is, is a play is frankly a flyer for SpaceX and the Boring Company, uh, but but it truly could be an AI play and certainly is a self-driving play and not just an EV play.